Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Super Mario RPG playthrough. Last time we entered the weapon world and we've started uh, essentially bringing the fight to Smithy himself. And uh, in addition to a bunch of very powerful recolors, machine made clones of pretty much every Smithy boss we've fought in the game so far, and a giant clock, an alarm clock no less, We've had our work cut out for us, but uh, I think we're doing pretty good and we're going to keep things moving as we make it through more of the factory. Uh, so here we have another save point. Save points usually indicate that, hey, something is coming up, so uh, we are going to get ready for that. Um, in here we have two new enemies. First we have these ninja looking guys. I think these are like the last, like, just world map enemies you can find in the game, aside from the giant uh, Spirtovic that's jumping around up here. Also, I just realized I was definitely calling him Mac, uh, the Clay Morton Mac. I... See, again, I'm just not used to Clay Morton. I'm, I'm more used to Spirtovic than Clay Morton. <laughs> just something about that name that just still just doesn't seem right to me. Okay, well, let's uh, thought peek this guy. Not much to say about the ninja. I've got nothing to say. I get it, because ninja... I think these guys are pretty evasive, though, so you have to kind of look out for that. And, of course, when you uh, take out all their HP, they'll do, like, a desperation attack, as ninjas do. <laughs> that, that, that seems pretty on brand for a ninja. But let's go ahead and take out uh, this guy now. Um, here we have... Good old... Oh, it's actually a special enemy vari variant, too. Interesting. So let's uh, get ready for this. So let's go ahead and thought peek him. I can't lose this time. My promotion's on the line. I think he said something like, my promotion's at stake or something in the original game. So, you yeah, know, pretty, pretty on brand. Um, I want to say these are... I want to say you have to thought peek these guys. I'm more than a mere minion. Yeah, I think you do. That is good that we did that. So this is basically, um... Spirit of Ix, uh clone attack that he had in the original fight. Just obviously he has smaller variants now. And then you just keep taking him out again. It's taking a while to get this guy down. <laughs> Not gonna lie. He did have over 2,000 HP at one point. And again, it is a special enemy, so... That also makes sense. There we go. So not only are we gonna get frog coin for this, but... Damn, that did take a while. Getting a lot of EXP for it, though, too, though. Damn. <laughs> I'll take that. But yeah, defeating uh, one of the uh, Spirit of It clones will get rid of that block that was there. And if you go back here, you have a little uh, healing station where you can recover. And, uh, well, we're gonna jump down that hole now, I guess. Because, you know, nothing better to do, really. So, let's do it. Let's jump down the hole. Look how Spirit of Vic jumped down, too. Hehehe! <laughs> Behold, they've taken the bait! Hehehe! <laughs> I guess I can spare a few minutes. 
Maybe they'd like to play. Okay, so say hello to Cloaker and Domino. I always like to kind of call these guys uh, Great Guy and Knife Guy's like older brothers <laughs> or something. But no, I think these guys are firmly with Smithy. Like they're quite literally Smithy weapons. So, you know, I don't think there is actually a relation there. But I always kind of compared the two in that light. Um, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to Thought Peak uh, Domino first. 77. I'll cast a spell on you. It's magic. So yeah, if you couldn't figure it out, uh, Domino is more uh, magic based, while Cloaker is more physical attack based. Okay, I need to get more damage off of him. Can you follow the arc of my proud blade? Maybe. Probably like he was 800. It's probably like 670 now. I'm gonna try to do something funny for this. As I'm playing the 400s. I'm gonna do something kind of interesting here. I want to say they are both pretty much in kill range now. So what I'm gonna do, <laughs> just for fun, I'm gonna switch Peach and Bowser in. And we're gonna use the triple move on them both. And whichever one survives, the game I'm gonna make the game choose which one to survive, basically this. Cause I wanna say this will do enough damage to KO them both technically. Yep. Okay, so it chose to get rid of Cloaker. Uh, so basically once you get rid of other one one of them, the other one will actually uh, take it to phase two. They'll take you over here to this part, and you'll have a snake to take down, in addition to that remaining brother. Now, the brother will restore its HP, and I don't think you have to re, um, 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 thought peek him or anything. But, uh, yeah, you're essentially now have to take down a much stronger foe in terms of the snake. Um, for Domino, you have the Mad Adder. And then if you have Cloaker remaining, you get Earthlink. So those are basically the... Um, actually, let me... I'm going to switch to Mallow first. So yeah, let me Thought Peak Mad Adder. I lead a carefree life. Maybe too carefree. Oh, that's pretty deep for a snake, I guess. Okay, let's go ahead... Covered. Man, Water Blast did not do very much. <laughs> but again, we have the two we have the two characters that have the biggest magic defense, and then Mario who's wearing the attack scarf, so you know, really not that surprising, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and thought peak domino again just in case. There's no feeling like blowing away your end. Okay, so that is a different entry, so maybe it does count. Oh well, I'm glad I did it to be safe. Anyway, once you uh, KO Domino, um, as you can see, he won't really be targetable anymore, and he can't do anything. So that's why I kind of recommend you take him out first. But honestly, if you just take out the snake, uh, you win the fight. So like, you don't necessarily even have to take out the other brother, essentially. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch back to Bowser here. And again, since we're facing off a, like against a kind of more magical foe, um, 
I believe they are like weaker to physical attacks. So we got this. But yeah, they will they will throw out some very deadly spells. Boulder is very powerful. And there we go. We did it. We even got some level ups. How about that? I think we're at the HP level up now, too. Yes, we are. Bowser reaches the 200 HP threshold. Um, Peach is actually getting pretty close to that threshold, too, honestly. She would get, like, probably one more level up. That'd probably be enough to do that. But, um, yeah, that's going to do it for that part. Uh, let me go ahead and switch my party once again. I'll just bring Mallow in. Because we have some more interesting fights coming up. And as you can see, we're actually in a new part of the factory now. Production is on schedule. This, despite the fact that Clay Morton, Bowyer, and Spiritovic, and the Axum Rangers were defeated. At this rate, Smithy will have a new army in no time. A new army? You can't be making more weapons. Haven't you caused enough trouble already? Oh yeah? Who are you? This is THE Mario. Give up now while you still have a chance. Shut down production now or he'll stomp ya. What did you say, you little puffball? Mad Mallet, trash him. Okay, so Mad Mallet. Mad Mallets as are different enemies than the enemies we fought before, so that's why you do need to um, get these guys. Go ahead and uh, peek them. Work, work, work. <laughs> okay. I guess he had to get back to work. I don't know. Seems to be a logical deduction there. Okay, so yeah, we're just going HP for the rest of these. I think Gino... Oh no, Gino's not quite at 200 HP yet either. He'll get there, though. Alright, let's see what you got. So now we have to fight uh, the clerk. These bosses, if you could even call them bosses, they're really nothing. They're literally just sponges more than anything. I've put in ten years here. He does like boosting himself up though. Thankfully they have those very easy to dodge bomb attacks. <laughs> ha! Hope you learned your lesson. We're almost there Mario, come on! What do you suppose this switch does, hmm? Nothing's happening. Huh? What's with the funny face, Mario? Oh, I know. You're trying to make me look, aren't you? I'm not gonna fall for that one. Ack! Help me, Mario! Boy, that was scary. I guess the green switch controls the crane. I guess so. Mario! Hey, it's Toad. Ah, phew, I finally made it up here. Let me help you guys out. But princess I'm sorry I snuck out with telling you and the Chancellor. I just wanted things to get back to normal. I wanted to do my part to help. Princess. Yes, that's it. Any job that lets me help both Mario and the princess is worthwhile. But, what can you do to help? Well, I carried all I could. Now what can you use? So yeah, this is basically just an item shop. A last minute item shop you can use. Which honestly is not too bad. Um, I'm going to sell those pure waters though that I have. Oh, I can sell some other stuff too. Yeah, we can sell these. Why not? 
Um, let's also sell... Yeah, those pure waters. I'm gonna sell the sleepy bombs, too. I know they're only worth one coin each, but... Eh. And really, I don't need fright bombs, either, because I have terrorize. I'll keep the other bombs, though. The other bombs, I think, are actually worth it. More worth it than the others. Also, yeah, I could probably get rid of these. Get rid of the rotten mushrooms. Get some of my coinage back, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to do. This is for you. Oh, we get a rock candy now, too. Sweet. Man, I must have a lot of rock candies if there's some going to storage already. <laughs> I'm actually curious. How many do I have? Uh, oh, three. You can only hold three. I mean, it makes sense. They're pretty powerful items, so... I can understand wanting to put a limit on those. Here's the report. Sir, drill bit will be finished on time. We're ahead of schedule. We'll make Smithy proud. Good work, everyone. The harder we work, the stronger Smithy will become. The weapons we manufacture here will be... Just think about it. When Smithy takes over Mario's world, we can do anything we want. <laughs> Not so fast. You sure are a cocky bunch. I rule this world. Don't you forget it. It's Mario. The Clay Morton and Spirit of the Clones didn't stop him? No, no. Leave Mario out of this. I'm the one you need to worry about, not him. Mario, you're about to make the longest jump of your life. You're, you're ignoring me! Yeah, they are kind of ignoring you, Bowser. You gotta, you gotta do something about that. Okay, so we have the manager. Really, there's not much different from the manager versus the clerk. Obviously, the manager's a little stronger. And he also has pounders instead of the mad mallets. But that's really about it. Twenty-five years of employment. Sigh. That is a lot of years of employment, not gonna lie. Okay, you know what? Oh, yeah, I forgot that he can do that. You know what, though? He deserves this. That's what you get for ignoring me. You tell him, Bowser. Okay, there we go. Um, well... Like the moon over the day, my genius and brawn are lost on these fools. Haiku. Um, well... God, I love Bowser. Okay, let's uh, keep things moving. Um... I'll just keep it like this. Hey, look, another one. <laughs> you there, are you the one in charge here? Do you know what your weapons have been doing to our world? Stop this nonsense at once. I'm afraid that is impossible. Any descent against Smithy will be dealt with by immediate meltdown. M meltdown? You can't scare me, I've got Mario by my side. Dissenters will be eliminated, production will continue. So here we go yet again. This time we have director, more HP, a little stronger. Got pound deaths instead of pounders. That's really about it. <laughs> I know, really, really exciting fight here, isn't it? Okay, oh, Bowser. It's not that bad. Okay, I thought peak the director. Yeah, yeah. 
The union, my son's exams, career changes, I've seen a lot during my time. That is a lot of stuff, not gonna lie. amount of experience and coinage too. That was scary. But we can't run away now. We've got to kick those low lives out of our world. Indeed, Peach, indeed. For once I agree with something you're saying. <laughs> okay, so here we go guys. We are in the pretty much the final few rooms of the factory. So we are approaching the very end of the game folks but before we close this video we'll do one more little fight here Mario I'm surprised to see you here but this is the end of the line for you this is the closest you'll ever get to Smithy so savor the moment Humph. you'll be fodder for my incredible invention the gun yoke so this is the Factory Chief and Gunyolk fight. This fight is not too much, and there's actually a pretty fun trick for this fight to make it, like, infinitely easier. And it's already not that hard of a fight. Uh, first and foremost, I'm going to go ahead and attack the Factory Chief. Get him kind of taken care of. As you can see, this guy does do a lot of damage, so... You know, be wary of that. Um, so let's first stop PQ. This month's goal is a thousand Shymore units. That's a lot of units. So, one thing that's dangerous about Gunyolk is the fact that he has Breaker Beam. And unlike the Axum Rangers, he doesn't need to recharge. So, yeah. It's a dangerous attack. And I kind of hate that Peach took a fall there, but uh, that's fine. We'll, de we'll deal. We'll cope. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to wake her up, though. Should I use that with Mario? Maybe I should do that with Mario. Let me, let me get Gun Yolk first. If we're beaten, there'll be no one to watch the boss's back. Oh, that is important. Also, I forgot to frickin'... That's okay. okay. Skip. Let's go ahead and pick you up. Anyway, the trick I was talking about is um, there is actually something that Peach has that can make this fight significantly easier. And it's something I always do whenever I do this boss fight because I think it's kind of one of those... It's one of those instances where it's like, you know, this is not a common thing that'll happen in a lot of boss fights. So take advantage of it when it does actually, you know, when it is actually relevant. Uh, Mallow's probably going to die right here, but that's fine. I actually didn't. Okay, well that's fine too. Um, but Mute actually works on Gunyolk. And that will actually prevent him from doing Breaker Beam for a few turns. So, eh, might as well use it, honestly. Um, we need 
need to... I guess I'll switch to Geno here. I'll use Geno Flash. I want to take out that freaking factory chief if we can. There we go. Okay, so that gets rid of him. And now we just have to worry about taking out Gunyol, which shouldn't be that big of an issue, honestly. Um, I'll just... I think I am going to actually switch back to Mallow again, though. Because Shocker does actually do pretty good damage. Uh-oh. No! I guess I didn't get the timing right. It has to be, like, right when the star touches the character. But as you probably saw, the, like, action command little icon disappeared, like, really quickly. And, yeah, see, the gun yoke was mute. That means he tried to use breaker beam right there. But, yeah, that's, uh, pretty much how this fight will go down. And there it goes. The Gun Yolk has been defeated. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, hmm, the production line hasn't halted. Look, Mario, this is where the weapons come from. This must be where Smithy makes his weapons. To find the last star piece and stop the factory, we've got to defeat him first. Mario, there's no turning back now. Are you ready? Our quest is almost over. And when that time comes... Come on, let's get this show on the road. Gino, what were you referring to? Well, we'll find out next time, because next time... We have the finale of Super Mario RPG. Now, there will be bonus episodes, because there is post-game content. But as far as, like, the actual main game, next video is going to be it, guys. So I hope you're ready for that. This has been Slim Kirby. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks.